Welcome back TZG Chase. My name is Kyle and today we're getting into it. Stellar Crown. We're a week late. Let's see if we can get some sweet bangers. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Been a while, but uh, here we go. So the newest set came out just over a week ago. Stellar Crown. Lots of cool cards to get into there. We got a booster box today. Let's see if we can get. I have this trusty checklist though so we can see what type of cards there are. Of course, let's skip ahead to the uh, illustration rare. Secret rare area. Okay, here we go. Oh man, right. So my favorite, my big chase is that Squirtle right there. That's insane. The second I saw that, I like the rabbit. It's Aurora. A lot of people like that Bulbasaur. It's not my top chase. Wouldn't be upset with it. So it's not a massive set. Like, I think it's like 15 illustration rares, which think about uh, Pal Day Evolved, it's like 34 or something, right? The other one I wouldn't, if I get a special illustration rare, this dash bun looks pretty good. I'll take that, a lot of people after that. The Terrapagos, Hydra Apple, all these look pretty good. But it's a bit of a smaller set. I can't even know what everyone else is chasing, but um, it's not a lot to chase. Pull rate's a bit tougher from what I hear, so let's see if we can get lucky today. Pull some big bangers. All right, let's grab a few packs to start and let's get into it. Might be a bit rusty, it's been a while. So we will see, but hopefully everyone's keeping well out there in this crazy world. Okay, let's go. Oh, might be something. Code card, okay. Appling, Fletchling, Phalanx, Crispin, Double Wool, Lantern, Cubone, Rabbit, no, just the hollow. Okay, so one pack down, nothing. Crack this pack number two open, see what we can get. Code card. Come on, we need an illustration rare. I feel like I've been on a bad luck uh, roll lately, so hopefully I can break that today. Booster box. Usually do a bit better. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So this is a full art. I love the uh, colorful borders. Galvantula, that's just full art. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so we got a hit, we're on the board. Nice, Galvantula. It's the Evolve Farm of Joltik. There we go, Joltik in the background. Okay, so we got our first hit, full art. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what else. Pack cards, of course. We got Raboot, Terrapagos, I think it's Galvantula, and probably Hydrapple. Or maybe it might be Lapras, actually. Yeah, it's a cool looking Lapras card as well. Oh, spoil them a bit. Cyclosaur, Altagos, Briar. Ran. Oh, Illustration Ran. Nice. Gulpin. It's pretty cool. Any Illustration Ran is good, but it's one that I prefer all the other. Nice Gulpin eating that whole cake. Beautiful. Simple colors there in the background. Do we get a double hit? No. Knocked Owl. And of course, um, I didn't show it, but there's a beautiful looking Knocked Owl um, uh, promo card in the ETB. So if, you, if you've seen that card or, you know, what have you, grab an ETB and easy, pull it right away. So you're already starting on top. I opened the one ETB in the background there. Don't know where that knockdown is, otherwise I could show it. Talonflame, Drifloon, Dreadnought, Clang Clang, okay. Two hits, happy with that. So might be, you know, probably expecting about 13-ish, you know, varying uh, rarities. Usually I get lots of EXs in there, but Let's see, put a sparkle back there. Let's see, Rush Ram, Luminion. Actually, I like this Luminion art. They always have pretty good Luminion arts. I think back to Brilliant Stars, uh, not just the regular hollow. Brilliant Stars and the um, Alt Art. Beautiful looking card. Also the, what is that? I don't know what they're called now, but something Crown Zenith, just whatever they're called. Illustration rare type things. Oh, Glaring Gallery, that's what it is. That's a beautiful card too. It was pretty good with the Luminion. Very underrated. Rhyhorn, no metal. Earthworm EX, we got our another hit. Okay, check Earthworm to the back there. It's about three hits. 50% so far. But yeah, I've, I've overall I've heard tougher pull rates, uh, which is a bit crazy because they've just been getting tougher and tougher. For me, I like something like a Crown Zenith where we're, you know, we're getting lots of hits. There's lots of cards to chase. Um, but hmm. deal with what we're dealt with here. Okay, nothing there. Terpagos. 
Oh yeah, Galvantula and it must be Lapras is the other one. In terms of the pack arts. Okay, crack this open. Code card. Here we go. Cyclozard, Gulpin, a regular card. Celebi, nice Celebi. Electrive, Jirachi, Grubbin. Take, oh, and a Cinderace. Sorry, it's Cinderace on the pack art. Cinderace EX, that's not too bad. I like that. Of course, not long ago, I watched the, um, you know, kind of the two more recent uh, English anime series, Masters and Master's Journey, something like that. So got very familiar with, um, you know, Raboot and Cinderace and whatnot. I'm trying to think of what the not evolved form is, but no, I'll remember. Tornadus. Oh, we got an Ace Spec Sparkling Crystal. Nice. What slot is this in? Is this a completely different slot? Okay, so that counts as a hit. Caracosta. First time I've seen that. Quigley. Okay, so we got an Ace Spec as well. Doing well. Five hits. Okay, let's grab some more packs. Oh, there's one hiding under there too. Yeah, yeah lots, of, lots of hype around the set. Everyone uh, was very excited for it. And same with me, but it is a bit smaller. I don't know. I feel like, despite everyone being super excited, they're gonna be a bit disappointed. Cause it's not, everyone's chasing that next kind of evolving skies, you know, what's gonna be the next evolving skies. And um, it might be hard to repeat that, you know? Team up, just because we had one each kind of, each air, you know, we had team up, and um, sun and moon, and now evolving skies. Tough to repeat, but really what they can do is just put lots of great chase cards in the same set and then too easy. Like a Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, six set. Make pull rates a little bit hard, then perfect. But it's gonna be hard. Uh, so this set, probably a bit too small. Not enough chase cards for me in terms of you know trying to repeat that success, but I'm, I'm happy with the set. I don't mind it. Uh, Surging Spark is the last kind of main main set coming out this year, and a lot of people are super excited about that. We've only seen kind of half the half the releases. There's you know the Latias Latios part of it. There's going to be a Pikachu, so everyone's getting real excited about that. But again, I just you know they haven't been getting those sets with all the big chase bangers since like a Crown Zenith, right? So or or I guess um, 151 as well. So we will see. We'll see what they have in store next year, 2025. Last year for Scarlet and Violet is crazy. There's a lot of people say it feels like it just started. Uh, so that's crazy. We're almost done. So we'll see what 2025 has in store. Uh, Team Rocket set. There's a, an EV Evolution set coming out. I think they're specialty sets. So lots of cool stuff to come in 2025. Everyone's kind of saving their powder a bit for 2025. Aside from Surging Sparks, where everyone's keen on that too. Tough to save your powder when there still are things to chase, right? It's a bit easier when you're getting no hits like I am right now. Started off well. Started off well. I was expecting pretty much nothing. Uh, if we can get a special illustration, that'd be great. Get that dash bun. Score bunny. There you go. I was never, ever going to guess that. I totally forgot. In terms of what the base kind of... Uh, Pokemon was for Raboot and Cinderace. Score bunny. If you haven't seen the, those animes, check it out. I haven't seen the most recent one that's come on Netflix. Which I think it's kind of the the third uh, one of that. I don't know if it's the final one in terms of the English, but something to check out. Metadite, Slazzle, Hydrapple. There we go, EX, the regular EX. Starting to load up on the regular EXs. Hydrapple to the back. Okay, here we go. Come on, we're still going, guys. Still looking for those elusive cards I pointed out on the checklist at the beginning. Squirtle, top one. Top, top one. Um, oh, nice. The Bulbasaur, just as I say that. A lot of people are for the Bulbasaur. It's a nice looking card. It's just not my favorite. And of course, uh, the cool thing about this, if you think to Obsidian Flames, ETB promo, Charmander, Really cool card. He's, um, you know, kind of getting mad, real mad at the Pidgey outside. So this Bulbasaur has the Pidgey as well. And then the Squirtle, you'll see there's a Pidgey as well. So they kind of all go through at least a common theme across the three of them, which is super cool, especially if you have them all together. But that is a 
It's a cool card. It's a cool card. Not my favorite. I'll take it though. I'll take it. It's a big hit. All right, let's keep going, guys. That's good. Two illustration rares, man. Sometimes I don't get many in a booster box. Like, think uh, Temporal Forces, 100 packs. I was struggling for a while in the booster box. I think I was getting like one illustration rare per. Oh, nice. Another full art. Metachamp EX, nice. Is that a, f what is it? Yeah, that is a full art. Let's go. Don't mind that at all. I like getting lots of hits. Oh, now it's broken. I like lots of hits. I'm all about the hits, especially the illustration rares, because of course I'm trying to collect, it's a, it's a massive task. I'm trying to collect all of the illustration rares in Scarlet and Violet, because, you know, and everyone's kind of turning their attention to it now, but just beautiful arts, you know? so so cool so it's a big task so the more i get the better and the fewer i have to buy all right let's tidy up for a second come right back all right and we are back uh don't know where my knocked out is but check this out i think oh yeah here it is look at that cool looking promo so that's in the etbs grab yourself an etb if you're excited for that card all right back in it getting lots of pulls eight maybe five to go if we're lucky Let's see, second half, let's do it. Refreshed, got our, uh, you know, went to the corner, got some water. I didn't actually, but ready to go, ready to pull that Squirtle. If I can get Bulbasaur and Squirtle in the same box, that's too good. I'm still looking for the big hit though. Usually, you know, I might get a gold card probably, or get real lucky, special illustration right? let's see. Okay, no, there's the Lapras pack. Been missing that for a while. Okay, code card. Here we go. Esperatha. Let's flittle. Evolve form. Okay. Clam Meow. Pancham. Charger Bug. Crabominal. River Room. Celebi. Nope. Cradley. Nope. Alright, guys. Turned into a bit of a drought, but to be expected, we hit kind of, I think, three in a row there. Just before the break. So. Whoa. It didn't hurt any of the corners on that one. Leap, Bombardier, Electabuzz, Lechonk, Rapidash, that's cool. That's cool. I feel like we haven't seen like a Rapidash, nice EV as well. Rapidash kind of, oh, Terrapagos. So this is the regular EX, but that is the full art. Is that right? Yeah, okay, I'm getting a bit confused. That's a cool looking EX, almost looks like a full art. Yeah, but I feel like we could get like a cool, I haven't seen Rapidash in like a, anything in a long time, right? Sometimes you just see them in the regular set, but that would be cool. Get like a nice Rapidash illustration rare. There should be a, like, I know we got lots of Charizards and it seems like it has been a while. They'd be cooled down a bit on the Charizards, but you could get like a fire type set, you know? Like a proper fire type set, maybe theme sets. Here's a grass type, here's the water type. Just go hard like that. Um, ideas. Okay, last stack. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think we're about nine-ish and we're getting some quality. We're not just getting regular, you know, 100 EXs. Raboot. I want that Raboot too, that's right. Like a Volt. But, Squirtle, let's just go Squirtle. Oh, nice, A spec. Grand Tree, that's very cool, all right. Grand Tree. Grand tree there. Am I gonna get anything else? Turbinator, as I first came across in Temple Forces. That was very cool. Gets an illustration around the set. Too easy. Too easy. And it's pretty cool. It's not, again, not top chase. Gonna sound like a broken record, but <clears throat> nice card. Rush Ram, Glam Meow. No, Mel Metal EX. I almost thought it was a regular card. Okay, chuck it over here on the sides, slip it around there. Getting low there. Eight, eight packs to go? Yeah, it's been a while since I did a booster box too. Yeah, it would be like three or four months really. Okay, Duraloton. Because it would have been uh, Twilight Masquerade, which seems like it came out forever ago if you think about it, because we had a couple of specialty sets, clang clang, in between there. And now we're getting all the sets. Surging Spark comes out in like November, so that's like, I don't know, what is that, like just over a month away? Uh, so it's gonna be a great finish to the year. 
I've slowed down on the videos, but on those new releases, nice Milkery as well. Cool. Any illustration room, super cool. In the candy shop there, beautiful. Beautiful, I'm happy with that. To get three, three of the 15, too good. Okay, do we get something else? Probably the Galvantula, huh? Dreadna, no. Okay, still seven or so packs to go. Looking for that elusive special illustration rare, the Squirtle. Those are kind of my two targets coming down, down the stretch here. Okay, we got the Milkery again. Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Talon Flame, Kafu, Mewtwo, nice Mewtwo, Melmetal. I'm thinking if there's been like a Mewtwo special illustration rare. Team Rocket Returns, there's gotta be a Mewtwo in there, like a real sick Mewtwo. It's gonna be cool. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to all the things coming out and the set right here. We're still in it right now and we're looking for those big pulls. Oh. Buffaloes. Okay, Cinderace. Oh, that just jumped out of my hand there. Okay, Grubbin, Vroom, Drifflin, Kling, Lacey, Celebi, Black Tribe, Noctowl, Chinchow, Rhyperia. Rhyperia was a throwback when I was seeing some Rhyperia, because um, first set that I opened was Darkness Ablaze. I was pulling the full art, and nice card, and I pulled full art and something else. Maybe full art in the VMAX. Great, great looking cards. I was very excited then. Of course, now it's all. Oh, nice. Got the Briar. So I thought that was special illustration rare. Okay, but we're getting hits. We're still getting hits. Got the Briar. Full art. Nice. Check it to the back. <clears throat> getting up there in terms of hits. Must be close to 11 or so with four packs to go. So it's not, it's not terrible, and three special, or three illustration rares, and like I said, I'm very happy about that. Anything from here is bonus, but I want the big hit, I want the Squirtle. Come on. One booster box, let's get both Squirtle and Bulbasaur. The two big chases, along with that, uh, everyone likes that Dash Bun too. And the Terrapago special illustration rare, that's kind of the top, top four for, for everyone, not for me, but... I think that rabbit's gonna do good too. That's Metadite illustration rare. A lot of people like that. Score bunny, Metachamp EX, just the regular EX, okay. Two packs to go, guys, right here at the finish line. Come on. Let's do it. Really uh, mucked up that pack, but so I'll do it here. Wulu, Toga Tomorrow, Tornadus, Metachamp, Lacey, no. Last pack. Comes down to this last pack. Terra Pegos. What are we doing? Come on, Squirtle. Come on, Squirtle. Four illustration rares, one box. That'd be amazing. Okay, code card. We're gonna slow roll. Drifflin. Hoot Hoot. Impidimp. Luminion. Rapidash. Oh, one of the ones I've been chatting about. Driplin. Diplin. Oh! Got the bar special illustration rare. <laughs> Too funny. Thought that that was the one I got. We'll get a special illustration rare though. Not the one I wanted, but I'll take it. Briar and what do we got? The Arch Loot on. Nice. <clears throat> the tough thing was so hard to pull, but this is gonna be worth like two dollars or something. I'm not gonna be able to turn this around for <clears throat> one of the ones I want, but special illustration rare is special illustration rare. So we had the luck, just not the right one. Nice. All right, guys, we did well. We did pretty well. That wasn't too bad. Of course, for me, the top is gonna be the Bulbasaur. Sick looking card, uh, probably price wise too. But we're probably up to 13, 14. So thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned soon. There's gonna be lots of there's lots of new sets and stuff dropping. So keep it posted right here. We'll see you next time.